Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. I will continue solving some little, very simple problems related to angles. Uh, this is the problem number two. And uh, here is what necess what's necessary to prove. Let's consider you have vertical angles. Let's say this one and this one. What needs to be proven is the following. If you will take a bisector of this angle and bisector of this angle, then these two bisectors form a straight line, which means basically that the angle from here to here is equal to 180 degrees. Well, um, let's try to basically formulate it in certain language acceptable by mathematicians uh, EF <coughs> okay so what's given given that angle AOB and angle DOC are vertical. Now, what does it mean that it's vertical? It means that, basically, I'll put in parentheses, that BOC is a straight line. So its angle is equal to 180 degree. And AOD also is equal to 180 degree. That's what it means. Um, and also, given that OE is bisector of angle AOB and OF is bisector of angle COD. All right, what's necessary to prove? That angle EOF equals 180 degrees. Well, the proof of this is really much shorter than explanation of all these conditions. It's really a very simple problem. Um, let's do it this way. Consider this angle is equal alpha. Then this will be 180 degrees minus alpha, since AOD is a straight line. So alpha and 180 minus alpha, they're supplementary to each other. Same thing is here. This is also alpha, and this is also 180 degree minus alpha. So, let's see what will be if we will start moving from OE to OF. From OE to OF. First, we have to cover uh, half of this angle, which is one half of alpha. Then we have to count all this angle, BOD, which is 180 minus alpha. And then another half of alpha. And as you see, this is equal to 1 half alpha minus alpha plus 1 half alpha. Only 180 is remaining. So that's what will be EOF. This is EOF. Angle equal. Well, that's it. That's the whole proof. As you see, it's very easy problem, and uh, I'll try to put some more complex and interesting ones. Uh, this is just an illustration of how simple and very you know, effective approach can, can help in, in solving some problems. Um, well, that's it for this problem. Don't forget that Unizor.com website contains lots of educational material. 
uh, which would be helpful in self-study as well as in supervised study. For instance, parents or supervisors want to basically control the education, ed educational process of their students and children. Uh, there are exams, there are scores which uh, uh, should be presented, and uh, there is enrollment basically uh, process. Everything is uh, in there, and uh, uh, you're always welcome to try working with this website in a true educational process mode, rather than just simply listening to lectures or solving problems. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, good luck.